Harris Doe State University offers programs that produce impeccable results and prepare students for leadership roles in a global society. Here to share more with us is President Dr. Um, Denzel Washington? Yes, ma'am. Yes, indeed. Dewan J. <laughs> Dewan J. Warmack. Thank you for being here with us today. Thank you. The name is Harris Stowe State University, but that's, that's not what it was originally called, right? Right, exactly right. Well, first off, thank you for allowing me to be here today. I'm truly honored to be here to spend this time with you. Um, Harris Stowe has a rich history. We'll celebrate 160 years of existence this year, educating the greater St. Louis community. Um, we were founded in 1857 as a teaching institution for whites only, um, specifically to educate white females in a segregated St. Louis public school district. See, now this is going to be really, really interesting to see how coming from there, we've come a complete 180 to something very different. So very different. Go on. Right. And so on the other side of town, you had Stowe Teachers Institute in 1890. It was founded to serve as, to educate um, women as well, to serve as teachers in a segregated St. Louis Public School District. These institutions operated independently. Wait, so you have Harris University that was only for whites. Harris Teachers College. Uh -huh. And then you had Stowe Teachers that College. was only for African Americans. Americans. Yep. Mm -hmm. okay. And specifically women. So if you think about 1800s, um, how this institution has been a pioneer of education, inclusion, welcoming all individuals since the onset of those institutions. And they operated independently to roughly 1954, landmark case Brown versus Board of Education. These were the first two institutions of higher education to merge in the state of Missouri. And with that merger, um, it became Harris Teachers College. And so most folks would argue, how is it Harris and two institutions merged? They dropped the Stowe name. And so the Stowe name, if you were a teacher at that time at Harris or administrator, you had a choice of going back to St. Louis Public Schools and serve as a teacher, or you were sort of out of a job. And in 1977, due to 23 years of legislation, a Senate bill passed to add the Stowe name back. And then it became Harris Stowe, State, uh, Harris Stowe College at that point. And then in 1979, became part of Missouri State System as Harris Stowe State College. And so time progressed, it became Harris Stowe State University. And then in 1987, based on our 1890 um, founded of Stowe Teachers Institute, we became a designated as a historically black college. And so this year, we'll celebrate 160 years of existence as an institution um, dating back to 1857, and also 30 years of being historically black college as well. So this is a sort of a landmark year for us at Harris Dell. That's a very rich history. Yes, indeed. And, mm -hmm. you know, there are some really neat things going on at Harris Stowe. Mm -hmm. So let's talk about some of those things. Right. Well, so we have a saying, it's a, it's a great day to be a Hornet, you know, and we mean that on campus. Amazing things are happening. We're ranked. Because that's your mascot. It's, yeah, I'm, <laughs> the Hornet is a mascot. You it's didn't our mean mascot. The no, 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 okay. no, no, not at all. We are. As opposed to a bumblebee. Bumblebee? No, know. we're Hornets, not bumblebees. <laughs> okay. People say it all the time they see our mascot. Oh, you're the bumblebees. No, we're the Hornets. And so we're pretty. Uh, serious about that. We are um, currently in, in a process, we're ranked number 40th in the nation of graduating, as we talked about our education route of preparing teachers, uh, 40th in the nation of graduating African Americans in teacher education programs. Let me talk about how significant that is mm -hmm. because there are over 2,600 universities in the United States of America. Public. Mm -hmm. Public mm -hmm. and another 1,600 private. You right. put all that together, let's do the math, 25, that's about four, 35, Over 6, 7, 100, yeah. and you're 40th. In the nation of preparing African-Americans in teacher education programs. And we're 47th in graduating African-Americans in mathematics and applied statistics. So we're excited about that. Number one degree producer in both of those in the state of Missouri as well. Wow. All right. It's a great time to be a Hornet. And great you know, um, you just graduated a historic, mm -hmm. I'm, we're talking about the history of the school, right. but in the history of the school, you just graduated an entire class with what was their GPA? Uh, roughly about a 3.03 GPA. That, um, I don't, is there class. another school in the U.S. doing that? I'm not sure. Uh, we've really been focused on Harris still. Um, I think, and I think that's, we're excited about graduating. And that was one of our, I think our seventh largest class in school history. So we graduated one of our largest classes and had a, a mean GPA of about a 3.03. .03. The most powerful piece is that I think um, what is most alarming, the state of Missouri calculates, um, or the iPads calculate graduation rates. So out of that 156 students that graduated, 
um, only 32 will ever count in our graduation rate, which is pretty depressing the way it's calculated. Wow. Hold that thought. That's we neat. have to take a quick break, but when mm -hmm. we come back, there is so much that we need to tell everybody about Harris Still. We'll get into some more when we come back after this break. Stay with us at STL Live. We'll have more with Harris Still State University after this break. Thanks for staying with us at STL Live. I'm Raina Ray, and my guest is President of Harris Stowe State University, Dr. Dewan Warmack, otherwise known as Dr. Denzel Washington, and we're learning about Harris Stowe State University. We were talking about some of the exciting things that people can expect at Harris Stowe. Mm -hmm. Well, and I was just uh, mentioning about graduation rates and how the statistically flawed uh, analysis is there. You know, so my best example, uh, City of St. Louis had their first African-American woman circuit attorney, Kim Gardner. Kim Gardner is a Harris Stowe graduate. Kim graduated from Harris Stowe in three and a half years, but she never counts in our graduation rate because Kim transferred in after one semester at LSU. And so what 70% of our students coming in from the community college are transferring, they never count the graduation rate. But we remain um, as 85% degree producers for African Americans in the state of Missouri. And so we produce 85% of the African Americans that graduate in the state of Missouri come from Harris Stowe. So we're excited about that number. We're in the state, we're ranked number one of graduating African Americans in healthcare management as well. Dr. Warmack, what are you doing differently at Harris Stowe that's showing these tremendous graduation rates with high GPAs, right. not people just barely getting through. Right. Um, well, I, I can't take credit. I'm fortunate to have an amazing team that does a lot of the groundwork. Our mission staff has been very diligent of recruiting the right Harrisville student. We're clear about the type of student we think that will be successful with our mission and our focus. So we've gone from a, um, uh, our applications are up about 250%. So students are choosing Harrisville that want to be there as a first choice institution. You said that, and I want to point some Thing out. Even though you're labeled an HBCU, mm -hmm. you have a very diverse campus. People who have no interest in HBCUs are mm -hmm. choosing Harris Stowe because right. of the education and the academia. I, I think so. We have some quality programs, quality partnerships, and so we're about 78 to 79 percent, you know, de identifies African American, so 20 percent other. So that's extremely diverse institution. Now, people who are listening might not think that, but mm -hmm. Talk about the comparison to other schools and what diversity looks like at other schools. Well, I, I don't think there's many other institutions that have that type of diversity makeup. I don't care if it's designated as a historically black college or designated as a predominantly white institution. You know, 20 percent diversity in regards to that's just that's just sort of an ethnic and a racial standpoint. I mean, we're diverse across the board. We have um, over 30 states represented 22 countries. You know, so you talk about diversity. We look at it very holistically. Well, and that and that's actually something that's worth Worth talking about that somebody who's in another country somewhere is looking at Harris Stowe right here in St. Louis to come across the water from wherever they are to attend school at Harris Stowe. Right. And I think diversity is one thing, right? And most institutions can focus on diversity, but having an inclusive environment means another. And so our focus, not just being diverse, but creating a welcoming environment that everyone that attends our institution has the most transformational experience possible. And when they graduate from Harris Stowe, they go out to be um, to this global society and be really, really active you know, citizens in this society. And, you know, we were talking a little bit earlier, and you said one of the things that Harris Stowe prides itself on is making sure that your students get the opportunity to go out into the real world and, as a part of their curriculum, mm -hmm. experience what they'll find when they graduate. And a lot of them end up taking those jobs when they graduate. Talk about that a little. So we're partnering with all sort of industry here. I think one of our most exciting partnerships recently was with Wells Fargo. Um, we're partnering with Wells Fargo. They've just invested into a live trading floor at Harris Stowe. There's not a lot of minorities represented what? in that space. A live trading floor. So we have a financial center where students will do Series 7 training. Wow. Um, all of the, the software that's on Wall Street, our students will be able to have that coming out of our finance degree program in partnership with Wells Fargo. We have students currently right now that 
ju well, just returned, I think about 14 students from China learning Chinese emerging language, Chinese cultures. We have uh, students in Senegal, Africa right now getting global experiences. We want our students to be prepared for a global society. And they are because I um, was reading up a little bit on Harristow and you've graduated some students that are out there um, big on the STEM industry program mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you've got a lot of students that are out there in the world doing things and I wish we could talk so much more right, about it right. but I have to let you go okay. but I want people to go to your website right. which is www.hssu.edu and get in touch with Harris Doe fill out an application you might it might be the right school for you right if you're looking for a transformational experience small classroom environment the most affordable education in the state of Missouri public school or private school here is where you want to be and you're not just saying that we know that for a fact I know that for the fact look at our numbers our tuition structure per credit hour is only two hundred and four dollars per credit so you can go to school here is full-time tuition, books, and fees, and we do a 12 to 16 hour block. So what you pay for 12 hours, you pay for 16 hours. And so you go there for less than $3,000 for the year, taking up to 32 credit hours. A university, a university, not a community college. Not a community college. Not sure there's anything wrong with community college. It's Four year accredited, always have been accredited university. That's amazing. That's well, cool. I certainly hope that people take the opportunity to look into Harris Doe. Thank you, we're as excited. As an option. Thank you for being here yes, today, indeed. Dr. Warmack. Harris Doe State University provides outstanding educational opportunities for individuals seeking a rich and engaging academic experience. For more information, visit hssu.edu. There's more STL Live after this. Stay with us.